So I'm gonna push this in a little bit. I want to show you how to log in to Palfish via the PC. Now this is for emergency use only. You only do this if you have no other options. When I used it, it's because my phone crashed. My phone, I had just done the Android Pie update and my Nokia decided it hated it, wouldn't charge. In fact, plugging it in caused it to decharge. And I had nothing. I literally, it was two hours, not even until class time. I was in a rush. I had to do something. So somebody had said at one point, and I only saw it briefly, that you could log into the website. So I'm sitting there on the website trying to figure it out. And I have it. So you're going to search iPalfish. That's the title of the main website. And you're going to want the kids' website, not the teacher. So when you just search iPalfish, you go down to the third one. And you want to do this from Chrome. It needs to be from Chrome. Even on a Mac. I've confirmed it with people after I posted in Facebook. It needs to be with Chrome. No, I'm not going to translate this page. Okay, so when you get to the kids' version, this is what the page looks like currently. In the future, it may look different. They change pictures sometimes. You want to go to this little blue button in the upper right. Now you've got your login page. No, I do not want to translate this page. Click the button to change to teacher. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm going to bring you closer for a moment. Okay. And enter your information just like you're logging in. So I'm going to turn the camera away for a moment. You can look at my pencil case and stuff so I can type in my information. Okay. I have to change the country code. I'm in Taiwan. I have to type in my phone number. I'm stuck at typing, so this is going to be a minute. Okay, password. And then you have to physically hit the word login. You cannot just hit enter like I like to do. So I'm going to move this back in now. Okay. So these are my, my lives. I can go into my reserve at the top, and these will be my classes. You have no information on them. They don't say the kid's name, nothing. My lives. You can film a live from the PC, I guess. That's something I didn't know. Maybe you can only, only if you set it up on um, the app, I assume. I don't know. I don't see a way to create a live. You can go to your messages. It'll open in a different link. So if you're in class, on your device and you want to be able to access messages, this is a way to access messages. You see it's logged into my name and all my messages are coming up and I actually have a lot right now. So I do need to go check that soon. Okay. And then you can also, I don't remember what this is. Does it do? I don't think it does anything. It doesn't do anything. So you can access your classes, your lives, and your messages. I'm going to assume that if you, you know, I can't do it on my phone right now because I'm using my phone to record but I will check it later and let you know in the comments. So if you, your lives are here, you can obviously watch them. Let me see. I don't know, it's not letting me enter. Nope, I'm gonna assume not. So you can check your message. Oh great, now I've opened it in two pages, ha ha ha. If you click the messages button, it opens in a new page. So just change the page at the top. There, your lives and my reserve is your classes. You cannot file reports from here. Okay, so you need to go back to your device to file a report. So once again, from the website, you're going to hit the blue button. The blue button will bring you to this second page, a login. Change for teachers and log in with your Palfish information. Then you can click My Reserve to access your classrooms. Yes, you can actually enter your classrooms. You see it opens in a new page. It's there. Okay, you do not have a R but most of the features will work, I uh, allow, thank you. But just so you know, the camera works and everything. See, it's on, you see me now, hi. Okay, my phone's over here, that's why you see me ducking, making sure everything's on. You can erase, you can get your local images. I don't think I have much on this computer so that it won't work. You can view all the slides, you can play the songs. To give the student a star, you would need to click here. Okay, to turn off their pens and pencils, you need to turn off there, but nobody's here. You could also use this to send a star up here. I think you, I can point here, send a star here. So the songs will work, the drawing will work, the, even the pulling of the cameras will work. 
Okay, you just click down, hold down, and drag. Okay, so that will work too. But you will not have access to the filters and I don't know what else. I know that the filters won't be working. Uh, depending on your PC, your camera quality might not be good. Also, writing like this where you have to click the mouse and I'm using just the laptop mouse is not fun. So that's up to you. And to exit the classroom, you would Chu up in the corner. So let me just go into that classroom again and just show you where the Chu is. To exit, it's here. Chu, exit. Okay, this is to give a star over here. This is to exit over here. Okay, you can change the slides just like you normally do on your device and you've got your um, information. Like this student here actually does use a PC to do class. So this is what you see. You can change your colors here. Okay, so some of the basic functions you do still have but you don't have the AR and stuff and really, and you don't have the ability to fill out reports. So this is only to be used in an emergency, okay? So I'm gonna turn off my camera now, and I can check my messages from here and I can get my classes, I can look at my lives it seems, but not enter them. I can access messages and I can log out, okay? So I hope this is helpful to people. Remember, go to ipalfish.com but make sure you select the uh, student version. Uh, YouTube has not banned the link, so I can post the link in the description. Um, so I will add that from, face, from the computer later after the video uploads. Hit the blue button over here in the upper corner to log in. Okay, let me close out these so you can see that again. This is just a review. Blue button, it will open a new page. I'm still logged in, it didn't log me out. Okay, let's log out. So if you click on the blue button, you'll be to this page now. Or I have to do it again. Okay. I do not, oh, I do not want to translate the page. Remember to change your area code, just like you do on the app. Make sure you change it to teacher. Make sure you type in your phone number. Make sure you type in your password. Okay? Just like you do on the app. Ooh, okay. So that's how that works. You need to use this website. I will include the link below. Bye-bye.